Roy, just kind of take me through some of your emotions ahead into this year. How excited are you to get it going? No, we're so excited. Uh, you know, ready to get out of the rain, ready to get down to Arizona and, you know, compete against someone else besides ourselves. Um, uh, we're ready to get going and, and uh, you know, just kind of carry on the tradition and legacy of this program has. Obviously, you don't look at it this way, but a lot of people from the outside are like, you know, for the last two years, Troy Collins could have probably started at half the schools in the Pac-12, maybe more because you were stuck behind one of the greatest in Adley. Now that you've kind of bought your time, how excited are you to kind of be the guy behind the plate now? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that's... For sure. No, definitely. Um, I'm very excited. You know, I think I learned a lot the past couple of years, but of course I wanted to play, but... Uh, you know, like you said, Adley Rushman was ahead of me, and that's just kind of how, how it was. But uh, I'm very excited to kind of, you know, take some of the things that I learned from Rush, take some of the characteristics that I, you know, gained from him and bring him to the field this year and just, you know, kind of keep that tradition going of having great beaver catchers. I think that's a thing that we've had for a long time, and I just hope to, you know, kind of pass the torch on to the guy after me and, and, and take what Rutch has given me and, and continue. If there were just maybe one or two things that, you know, you can be like, yeah, Adley Rush, me and taught me how to do that, you know, from when I got here, even just the last couple years, what, what would you maybe say? What did he resonate with you? For me, man, it was really about slowing the game down. Um, he was so good at just controlling everything that he did. Um, just kind of manage the pitching staff and, and nothing really got too big for him you know he was able to stay even keel all the time and uh just just always have that presence always have that energy that you know everything was good all the time what's the last couple months been like with, with coach canham taking over and the transition and keeping the culture the same and the expectations level the same what's how would you describe the last few months yeah you know like like you just said the culture expectations everything's the same you know we always have that goal every year to win a national championship and you know canna more than anybody understands that he gets what it, he gets what it takes um he understands it and that's really what he's brought to us is just how to compete every single day you know everything we do it's it's a competition and we're pushing each other every day to get better what's he like as a coach he's a person he's a mentor and everything yeah i mean he's a great human being a great coach um he he understands you know what it's like to play here what it takes he understands the mentality and um he kind of you know, instills that in us every day and, and makes us better baseball players and better men every single day in everything that we do. At the end of last season with the transition and you knew there was going to be a new coach probably, did it help that knowing that he was within the Beaver family, won championships here, was a, a Coach Casey guy? Did that help with everything for you guys as players? Yeah, man, when I found out, um, I was pretty excited. Um, you know, we didn't really know if, if Bales was going to get the job again, if it was going to be someone new. Um, but when I found out it was it was going to be Coach Canham and Bales was going to be staying here, um, you know, we were all very excited. Like you said, you know, he gets it. He, he's been here. He's done it. Um, he kind of brings a little bit more of that youthful energy every single day and uh, a little bit of a pro style. He's, he's been, you know, here and there. He's been both. And uh, he's done a really good job of kind of, bringing the best of both worlds together do you see any similarities between him and coach casey <laughs> yeah i definitely do i see i see a youthful case i didn't know case when he was young but you know in my one year of a playing here under case i can i can see that fire i can see that passion that case brought every single day and, and canham definitely brings that speaking on that just a little bit what's it like to you know have a coach that you know is young enough still now in his career that you know a, a, you can still look back and be like, oh, this is a guy that played not too long ago, and B, maybe even has, you know, music interests that you hear, just a guy that's, you know, close to you guys in age, and you can kind of relate to a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's more personable. Um, he kind of relates a little bit more, but um, at the same time, you know, he's our head coach, and, and he is our mentor, and he's our leader, and, and we respect that and understand that, but, you know, like you said, it, it is a little bit, it is better, not better, I, I would say, but it's it's a different dynamic, you know, For now sure. that he, he uh, can relate a little bit more, he's a little bit closer, like you said, but, you know, in the same, same token, like, he's our leader, and, and we respect him and everything, and he, he does, and, and there is definitely, like, part being your, your your coach and your friend and part being like, hey, this is the guy I'm going to follow through anything. So. You hoping uh, Hank gets to type up some more clonch bombs this year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the goal. Some more clonch launches, as he likes to say, and Mike Parker likes to say. So. <laughs>